Today is Rosh Chodesh Ol, the first day of the Hebrew month of El, the last month of the Jewish year, the month that is known as the month of compassion. In the words of the Alter Rebbe, Rabbi Schneir Zalman, who says that this month the God, the King, comes out to the Jewish people in the field. On Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, he's in his palace, a little harder to get to him. But on the, in this month, he comes out to us, makes himself available, accessible, and we could step up and ask, make a request, get a little closer, take advantage of the moment, and uh, enhance our relationship with God, which is much easier this month than the next month. I'm reminded of a story that I just read this morning, actually, and I'm connecting it. This happened to a man by the name of Tzvi Jacobs in 1989. In the month of El, he was on his way home from a bris, stopped off at his local bank to make a deposit. He walks in, realizes he forgot his check in the car. He goes back out, opens the car, takes the check. As he shuts the door, he sees three big bulvans, heavy, husky, mus muscular men are surrounding him. And they ask him, do you have money? They want his money. And he got very scared. It is the time that he's got to put into practice everything he learned in yeshiva about God, about everything has purpose, everything is for the good. He's trying to hold himself together. And he says to them, yeah, I do have a few dollars, but by the way, any of you Jewish just thinking to throw something out to diffuse a little bit of the situation, not thinking that they are, the middle guy, the big guy says, I'm Jewish. So he says to him, you're Jewish? He was shocked. He says, well, why are you asking me for a few dollars? You can ask for millions. This guy looks at him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. And he begins to explain. He says, if you're Jewish, you know that God is in the king. The God, the king is in the field now. And he's right with us, right here on the street, accessible. Why are you asking me for a few dollars if you can ask him for millions? He's got, this kid was, this guy was really shocked. And he says, you know, if you're Jewish, let's put on tefillin. And this guy softened up a bit, this uh, this middle guy. And before he knows it, Rabbi Jacobs pulls out a pair of tefillin from his trunk and he's wrapping him tefillin. He starts saying, he says, and he's really trying, before he does this, he asks him, did you have a bar mitzvah? He says, sure, I had a bar mitzvah. And he starts singing his after to him. Anyway, he's putting on tefillin, his eyes are beginning to tear. And the two other guys, the fellows, are just shocked by what they're seeing. And... He uh, finishes putting on tefillin. He turns to the other guy. Anyone else Jewish here? He turns to the second guy. He says, my name is Michelle. Are you Jewish? He says, no, I'm Christian. But my mother was Jewish. Mother was Jewish. That means you're Jewish. He says, my mother was uh, taken in by the uh, by the uh, convent during the war. When the Nazis killed her parents, the Christians took her in. And she grew up as a Christian. We're all Christians. He says, no, you're Jewish. Your mother's Jewish. You're Jewish. Let's put on tefillin for the first time. And in fact, we're going to make you a little bar mitzvah here. And he takes out the little few pieces of cake that he took from the bris. And he says, there's a little schnapps. One of the guys was holding a bottle of mash, uh, whiskey or vodka. And he poured themselves and it became a little bar mitzvah right there in the parking lot of the bank. And he says to them, explain to them what the month of El is. And they thanked him. And he takes out the few dollars from his pocket and says, hey, you wanted money, let me give you some money. He says, no, no thanks, we don't need your money. But there we see the story is amazing because you see that when the Alter Rebbe says that in the month of El, the king is in the field, it really he really meant it, it's really true. Here we have three guys that were totally disconnected or seemingly so, and they uh, connected within minutes because the king was in the field, not because Jacobs was smart or he was witty or he came up with a good way out. It had nothing to do with that. That was just the medium. The God was in the field right there to wake these two Jews up and to remind them who they are. And indeed, they reconnected and the, the rest of the story, I won't get into now. But for all of us who are not holding anyone up, and we don't need anything dramatic as that, for us, it means simply to reconnect, to realize that this is a month of grace, a month of compassion, to get involved, do a little more extra Torah learning, a little extra prayer, go to shul maybe once or twice more this month than you would usually go, and prepare, start the preparation for the high holidays. It's a month of compassion. It's a great time to reconnect to your Jewish roots, 
to do a little something more Jewish. Shabbat Shalom and have a happy and healthy New Year.